Hi friends, for today's card, I will be using watercolor paper, distress ink in antique linen, this adorable bunny, the scene building stamp set, and my zig markers. And while you're watching me create my scene, let me tell you how excited I am joining Team Tiny in this Team Tiny Spring April Showers video hop. Team Tiny is a hashtag driven monthly hop, which means that if you click on that hashtag in my video title, you will see all participants' videos. I highly encourage you to do so, but first watch my video. We are a group of small content creators with less than a thousand subscribers so you won't see any ads i really hope you will check the videos in this hop like comment subscribe this means so much to us also there are three giveaways on some of the videos so that is one more reason for you to click on that hashtag and hop along but now to my card i started outlining with light gray marker my bunny and then i'm just wetting a bit the paper with a damp brush just a little bit spreading the color and i use an old packaging as a palette where i scribble my marker and pick it up with my paint brush and this video is really sped up just building up the color slowly adding layer after layer and here i'm adding a bit darker blue gray just where my darkest parts are and here i'm not taking into account any light source i just color <laughs> as i feel like and here i'm adding more dark gray brown color and added a line of color on both ears so they don't look flat and I'm mainly covering half of each and then adding pale pink for the inside. And I will add also that pale pink on the cheeks of the bunny. Lining again with the light gray marker, the tail and bunny's tummy, just to wet the paper, and then I will drop in oatmeal color. And here I'm outlining my trees with may green and light green color and I'm just spreading a little bit the color but I don't want both to blend I'm just making some swirly motions with the brush and I'm adding a little bit more color just dabbing the paper and I don't want anything to blend so so that the tree will look fluffier and off camera I covered everything else the same way and stamped the two clouds with um, tumbled glass distress ink and here I'm adding a little bit more color to the trees and the bushes And 
for the three trunks I'm using mid brown and the beige and now for the grass part I'm using pale green and light green and carefully going around the bunny and here it's all covered and I took the pale green color and added a bit more color behind the bunny like there are some bushes or trees somewhere far away here i'm adding uh, tumbled glass distress ink and using it to cover my sky and i'm trying to avoid the clouds so they stay white and here I'm adding broken china just to make it a little bit darker on the top so it's like fading away when it goes down towards the green part white paint that came in watercolor set and started adding some swirls into the clouds to make them look whiter and puffier but I wasn't getting good result so here I took a chalky white paint and did the exact same but still the clouds were like blending into the sky and I wanted them a little bit more showing here I'm taking light pink marker and again that white paint and I'm trying to paint cherry blossoms or some sort of blossoms on the trees to create a spring scene and then I will add some C-shaped or dabs of color as if the wind is blowing those blossoms away and they're flying around and here with dark brown marker I'm adding face to the bunny and um, off camera I stamped also one butterfly with worn lipstick distress ink and covered it with light carmine and light violet markers and here I chose my sentiment and I'm stamping it with Versafine onyx black ink also got a um, cardstock and um, covered the edges with purple marker because I didn't have that kind of covered cardstock also ink blended a bit of the tumbled glass and twisted citron to extend the scene and here it's one final attempt for more visible cherry blossoms and puffy clouds with my jelly roll pen and that's all for this card thank you so much for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to hop along and see the other videos in this hop bye